Hi YouTube, back again. So I got one more package from edgeautosport.com. Uh, their links down below. I've had some other stuff by them. Uh, great company. Anyways, check them out. Uh, so today I got my JBR heavy um, shift knob here. So obviously you get the shift knob and there's some hardware accessories that uh, go with it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this uh, with a video. That way you can just step by step, pause it, play, pause, play, and install it yourself. Uh, first thing, it's really fucking heavy. <laughs> this one's 500 something grams. Uh, the stock one's 100 and something. So it's, it's a chunk. Alright, so here's the stock knob. To remove the stock knob, you're just simply going to rotate counterclockwise until the thing pops off. Pretty simple. Righty tighty lefty loosey. After you take the knob off, you're going to pull the spring off. You're going to take the rubber, put it in your cup holder, save it for later. Put the spring back. And you're going to take this nut and you're going to screw it down. La la la. Run it all the way down till it stops. Okay, so now it's stopped. Don't try to take a wrench and tighten it. Just run it down till it stops. Then they want you to make sure you can still go to reverse. So over and I can still go to reverse. So that's good. All right, next step, you're gonna take this thread adapter, which changes the thread style, um, and you're gonna screw this down till it touches the thin nut right here. So the JBR instructions are a little bit wrong. It's not a 17 millimeter, it's a 19 millimeter. So I don't have a 19 millimeter open, but since this thing slides through here with no problems, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So put the box wrench on to hold the thin nut. Go ahead and put the thread adapter on. So you're going to hold this so you can tighten it. I have a little ratchety wrench so these things are gold by the way, these ratchety wrenches. So you give it a nice little tug. Don't torque on it too hard because this is just aluminum. You do not want to strip it and that will be bad. So, just like that. Okay, next step, grab your shift knob and you're going to grab this hex nut. You're going to put this in here. Start it with your fingers. Then you're going to thread it all the way down till it stops. Okay. Just like that, all the way down in the bottom of there. Then you're gonna go ahead, screw it on here. So, as you can see on top, the reverse, first, second, third, all that shit's fucked up, right? So the whole point of that little hex nut is to set this to where it faces the correct way. So you unscrew it, put this in. I'm gonna do quarter turn. So that's gonna be, it's facing this way. That's a quarter turn. So I'm just gonna do a quarter turn at a time until the shifter sits perfect. So see, now instead of being upside down, it's facing this way. Do it again. And you just keep doing this until you get it exactly the way you want it. So see, now it's facing a little bit too much. So I'm going to screw it back in a tad, and it should be perfect. Alright, so after about 
8 million tries. No, I'm just joking. Um, I finally got it lined up right. So... Now it's nice and straight with the cup holders. I can st still engage. Reverse, no problem. Which is what you want. It looks good. It's not r awkward in the hand. Um, maybe if it was smooth, it might feel a little better. Um, but definitely no complaints. I'm sure over the years that I'm going to be using it, this is going to smooth out just from my hands rubbing on it constantly. Um, thinking about maybe doing these grooves a different color just to give it some contrast so it's not just all black with red letters um not sure yet though uh put some comments uh below let me know what you think you would do with it let me know if you like this let me know if you think it looks like shit um just remember in their directions if you're not going to use this video in the directions, it is not a 17 millimeter. It is a 19 millimeter to hold the bottom jam nut. So I hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe, and all that stuff. And uh, till next time, wrench on. So we have the shifter installed now, right? Uh, so I'm doing a little driving review, letting you know how it feels, what I think about it, and uh, let me make it a little easier for you to hear me. Okay. So, very first uh, impression is it's different. So, the weight is awesome. The shape is obviously not exactly the same, right? So, it's going to take me probably a couple days to get used to the, to the feel of the edges. Because if you take a look at this, we have edges, you know, instead of it being perfectly round on top. So, getting used to, like, finding a position where the hand fits, you know perfect and it's comfortable uh, it's going to take probably a couple days but overall it makes it feel deliberate is a good word so when I move it it feels like I'm actually pulling on something instead of the lightweight one where you know I know I'm moving something but it doesn't feel like uh, feel like anything Hopefully some of you can understand that. Uh, I guess try doing curls with just your arm weight or put a quarter in your hand and then do curls with like a five pound weight and you, I think you might get the idea. Uh, but I really like it, it's mellow. Uh, they obviously have different colors, blue, red, uh, black. Uh, I didn't see all the colors they had, but they pretty much have a bunch of them. I wanted black with the red letter, uh, red numbers to make it sort of blend with the car. I wanted it to be mellow. I didn't want nobody to notice it until after they got in the car. So, overall, excited. It's cheaper than cheaper than the Cobb one, I think. Uh, shit, I don't even remember now. Anyways, uh, go ahead to edgeautosport.com. Check out the pricing see if you like the pricing I really like the shift knob installation wasn't too hard um, let's go ahead and then till next time wrench on